Peter Ngugi, who used to work with one of the donkeys, found it untied, and on a mission to look for it, he was notified of the slaughtered donkeys. Rachel Mudoni, also owns one of them, says that her means of getting daily bread has been cut short, since the slaughtered donkey was a big part of her daily chores. Nakuaga na punda, lakini inafanyaga kazi na mtu mwingine, lakini jana zioni, uyo mwenyewe anatumia iyo punda, alikuja kaifuga mahali, na asubuhi kwenda kuitafuta akapata hakuna baada ya kutafuta uh, tukapata kuna puda zingine bili zimechijwa zime mahali saa kutafuta yangu nikakosa haiko katikati ya hiyo so bili uh, kutelemka chini kidogo ndio nikakuta kuna puda ingine kuangalia vizuri nikakuta ni punda yangu imechinjwa some of the meat which was not taken away was left in sacks and area residents buried them. This is not the first time such incidents are occurring in the country, which has led to the government looking for measures to curb the illegal slaughtering of donkey. Experts said that although donkey meat is fit for consumption, an hygienic slaughtering sites could contaminate the meat and therefore pose a health risk to unsuspecting consumers. <laughs> Saa kitu wanaweza kuwa kikula ni kitu kaa white meat. White meat ina include nyama ya ngulue, samaki na kuku. Kwa vile punda aina tofauti kubwa na ngombe. And away in Gatundu South, five orphan children from Kiamwangi location whose mothers of unstable mind have been rescued from sexual abuse after an NGO came to learn of their plight and relocate them to two children's home. Kuna kuwa na defilement ya wasichana, kuna wasichana wawili, na vijana wawili, two young boys, hata wana kuwa sodomized, na watu wabawa watu jui. Kwa hivyo, naomba kama kuna watu wageweza kuwa saindia, ilu waudolewe huku. The children and their mother have been neglected by the community and whenever the mother is ready to do manual jobs to fend for her family, her employers often underpay her. Nimejua hawa watoto kwa miaka kumi, tagu ni kuja huku. Na wanakuwa na shida, kuenda shida ni shida, mavazi ni shida, jaa, wanakuwa na jaa sana. Hata wabebi chakula wakija kwa shule. Efforts to bring those defiling the children to book have not borne any fruits since. Violet Makendo, GBS News.